What's going on everybody? Today I have a little bit of an interesting or different one for you. As you can see from behind me, there are clips of me just looting a bunch of dungeons. I have it at 1.5 speed because I did a hundred dungeons here with the new bonus chest and I try to record every single one of them so you all can check out what it looks like when we loot 100 dungeon runs with four players not only with the boss drops but also with the bonus chest really what i wanted to do about this video or with this video is kind of determine whether or not i personally felt an increase and then also chart it and look at the numbers and see if there really was any sort of increase because really there were two kind of camps when this update happened there was the camp that said okay we have half and half meaning the dungeons were split the old drop rate half of it was in the chest and half of it was from the boss and so you weren't getting any bonus drops at all and then the other camp like myself had felt that there was a decent drop rate buff. Um, now, obviously, we didn't have the data at the time, and you've probably seen a couple videos out there uh, or people talking about whether or not the dr dungeon drop rates are boosted just because they've run a bunch so far. Now, as I said, this is a little bit of a different video. <laughs> Normally, I would just kind of give you all the information, but I thought this would be a little bit more fun uh, just showcasing all the loot that we were actually getting. Uh, I did over do this over the course of about two, three days. It took me in total, each of these dungeons uh, were, I ran Mad King, Rapids, as well as Pit of Anguish, I believe. I'm not sure if I ran another one in here. But overall, the average runtime was about that 3 minute 15 mark. And so because we run 100 dungeons, it's about 315 minutes, which means this took approximately uh, five hours to record each one of these dungeons. Now, keep in mind that uh, I messed up some of the recordings as well. And so it was a little bit off there, but hopefully this uh, gives you an idea on what it's like to loot 100 boosted dungeons. Now that is also an important thing to note. These were all boosted, meaning that if you go into the game and you see your codex, Mad King's Breach, Pit of Anguish were boosted uh, the last week and now it is the next week uh, since the update and now Rapids and Tomb of Here are boosted. And so that's what I was doing this week. Between the two, um, dungeon or between the three dungeons we got a lot of set items which is going to be cool for the future in order for us to go ahead and test out all these new set items also it is very very important to note that when you're running these dungeons and you're running as many as i am certain tips and tricks are really really useful in saving you a lot of time one being making sure you're salvaging in the dungeon runs if you have mismatched salvages uh, and you're just kind of running around, you have a free to play player and they need to salvage more often than one others. You might save like 10, 15 seconds every five dungeon runs. And of course that may save you five minutes um, for the course of this amount of dungeons. But that adds up if you farm a lot of dungeons. Another thing to note is getting the right team comp. Generally what you're gonna wanna run is two satyrs to other classes and you're going to want to run as many movement abilities as you possibly can because the name of the game is to speed through move through and then damage as much as you can so banner is extremely extremely important as well as running something like a wizard actually is incredibly quick around these dungeons uh, demon hunters are also not incredibly quick in terms of movement speed but they do a lot of damage uh barbarians can be necessarily kind of okay because you can get the sprint buff if it's timed correctly um monks again can be kind of okay kind of like the barbarian with the inner sank buff to your rest of your team um and necros are actually really really excellent as well although they don't move quick they have some of the highest damage per second i've seen um, just because of their laser uh, mages, which is really, really good. You can see here, uh, as we're looting and as I'm talking about all these strategies and everything, you may have noticed that we are getting a lot of set items, at least from what I've experienced previously in some dungeon runs. And I'll go over the numbers in just a moment and showcase what I've charted so far in my spreadsheet. 
But more often than not, um, we were getting a set item about one in every four runs, which is really, really cool. I was also running each one of these dungeons with a Warband member, which means I had a chance to drop a Warband chest across every single dungeon. That is also uh, a potential charting and something that maybe some of you will find interesting. So with all that being said, we'll jump into the numbers here and I will post my spreadsheet and just kind of scroll through it um, on screen here and showcase what all the numbers look look like at the end of the day and of course uh looks like at the end of all of the 100 runs we got 26 set items we got six legendary items and three warband chests now of those 26 set items seven were found in the bonus chest and 19 of them were found from the boss itself now what's interesting about this is if we compare this to previous numbers from set item drops i would have said to you based on the numbers that i have run i've charted over 500 runs from non-boosted dungeons or boosted dungeons before the drop uh extra bonus chest it was around the 10 to 20 percent more accurately i would say 15 to 20 percent set item drop rate again i said i charted over 500 runs of that i had some that were uh you know 10 percent. i had some that were uh over a course of about 100 runs some that were 10 some that were five percent some that were 25 percent um it's just it's rng and as you saw when i was scrolling down there are pockets where i wasn't dropping any set items and there was pockets where i dropped it back to back to back set items it's just how rng works before the the changes i would say about 15 to 20 percent set item drop right and then based on this uh 100 run sample it was anywhere from about 20 to 25 percent so not quite double the drop rate but about a five to ten percent increase uh, obviously the math doesn't add up there if i say five to ten percent um but somewhere around that range uh you know if it's 15 percent beforehand and it's 25 percent now maybe that's a 10 percent uh in terms of actual drop rate increase uh not necessarily 10 percent more drops but 10 percent drop rate increase if that makes sense so overall Every one in four dungeons, I was getting a drop rate, a uh, drop from a chest or a boss. And it looks like, honestly, the boss drop rate remained exactly the same. And then there was an additional chance to drop a set item from a chest. That's what I'm getting from this information. It is important to note that I never got a double set item drop. If any of you have gotten a double set item drop, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section down below because I have not heard anyone get a double set item drop yet. If you do, be sure to take a screenshot of it and then send it over. I'd love to see it. Um, we did get a decent amount of legendaries over the course of five hours. Um, we got six, so about 5% drop right there which is pretty much, well, I guess it's 6% drop rate in actuality. And from previous dungeons, it was about 5% before the changes. And so maybe a tiny buff there from the extra legendaries from chests. Unsure about that one. Um, and then, of course, three warband chests, if anyone cares about that. Decent uh, warband chests that I was able to enter and get my free items from. So overall, that is the overall drop rate from each set items, from the legendaries, and of course, all of the runs are right behind me. Uh, and I plan on doing a repeat of this video, but for non-boosted dungeons, just to see how much the boosted dungeons actually count towards dropping those set items and legendaries, if it really matters all that much, or if it's maybe like a couple percent unsure at the moment. But if you want to check out that video, be sure to sub to the channel like this video i also want to do it for 100 treasure goblets and see what the loot like for that again this is meant to be more of a little bit of fun video just so you could see all the loot dropping i think it's a little bit more fun um, and i just want to go over my findings at the end of the day i think that the new update did buff the drop rate from personal experience as well as other uh drop charts that i've seen but i won't say that it's guaranteed because this is a small sample size and the ones that i have seen over there are anywhere from like 100 to 500 as well again if it is it's a small increase but it is an increase nonetheless the two to three and uh, player dungeons are pretty mediocre in terms of you don't get the drop rate and they're more difficult so definitely stick to those four player dungeons still they're faster and it looks like they have a little bit of extra drop rate 
Again, hope you found this interesting. I know I had a little bit of fun going through all the dungeons and seeing all the drops. And I will see you for those next videos. See you later.